is rich with rich tech. Now today I'm going to show you how to repair an L-shaped MagSafe one connector head. This is a, a cable which has a, a, sh a short. One of the wires is not transmitting the current or it doesn't have continuity. We want to check which so we use our multimeter and the sound function to test. So the positive one is perfect while the negative wire is not perfect. So the first thing is to remove the wire, the rubber sheathing, which is at the end of the connector. Then we remove the magnetic contact using uh, some pliers, a pair of pliers, and then the plastic assembly to reveal our contacts. Next, with a razor blade and some heat, we remove the glue around the inner assembly so as to access the inner assembly. Do it gently so as to avoid damaging the pins. Next, use a razor blade too, or some sharp object to push behind the assembly and then raise it up. Of course, you can use apply heat to soften the glue. Then you can pull it off, slowly and gradually pull it off to avoid any further damage. After this, you can see that the positive side of the wire is well connected, but the negative side has a break in the wire. So that's the cause of our uh, malfunction. So remove the insulation, the black insulation, which covers the point of contact. You can cut it off with a razor. This will further expose our defect, the negative wire or the V return. Uh, it does not have continuity at that point. So we use soldering bit to melt away the solder and to release the wires from the contacts from the assembly. Moving the positive one and the negative one, which is uh, has broken off, we can also remove it with a solder with a soldering bit. Next, prepare your wire. Cut off the rubber sheathing one centimeter from the end and separate the wires. The V out cable is the sheathed one or one with the white insulation. The V return is the one which is not insulated. Cut off one millimeter insulation off the positive cable prepare your area for contact or attachment. Next, uh, apply or insert some insulation and then the yellow bit is the insulation, then apply a bit of solder. Remember we need only enough solder for the joint, not more than necessary. Next, insert another rub rubber or plastic insulation over the wires and hold it back with a black wire. With the black wire, you can use any kind of wire. But I'm using a black wire here. And now set up your assembly for soldering. Apply heat gently and solder the joints. Remember, if you are pins are looking up as in this case the positive one cable should be on that side 
Now test for continuity to check if your soldering is perfect. This is now a perfect joint. Slide the insulation that you put in earlier over the joint and make sure it covers the joint completely. Next, ap apply or insert the plastic assembly back on the pins. We want to test if our work is perfect and if the L-shaped connector is working before we proceed any further. You can also put the metal contact and using a MacBook with some power test if it's working. In our case it's working fine. And charging. Now with that confidence we proceed we want to slide the rubber sheathing inside the aluminum metal casing. Use some glue to fasten it there. Then you slide back the assembly of the pins back into the aluminum housing. Slowly by slowly to avoid any damage. And secure it inside in the locking position. You can use a sharp object to push it into the locking position. Now apply some glue which will hold the assembly inside the casing and also hold the metal contact. Using something hard, uh, strong like a plier, some pliers over a piece of cloth, fasten your metal contact over the assembly and check for the pins once this is done. Ensure they spring back and forth. Now your cable is ready. The next thing is to check if it is working. And uh, this is how you repair an L-shaped MagSafe 1 connector. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Uh, hit the like button and also hit the bell to get notifications of such videos in future.